Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and today we're being rich. Rich. If you guys don't know, I saw RuPaul on Jimmy Kimmel, and he was telling Jimmy Kimmel that I was rich. And uh, whatever, RuPaul doesn't do my taxes. So I don't know how she knows. Maybe she has a side hustle at Wells Fargo. I don't know about. But it made me think, you know, on this channel, we've tried all Elf. We've tried all Wet n Wild. We've tried Maybelline, but we've never really done a video using very expensive product. I mean, the way I shop for makeup, it's just never been my inclination to go to the highest priced item or to believe that the most expensive item is better. I actually love affordable makeup because I love hunting for something really good for a good deal. But I thought for a video, I see in the comments all the time on this channel, people are like, do fancy, do fancy makeup, do like expensive makeup. So I went on the Sephora app. I basically searched for like foundation and then I would sort it uh, price highest to lowest and I would buy whatever was at the top of the list. Now, oftentimes it was at the top, especially products like foundation, let's say. The most expensive foundation was like a medium co sheer coverage and that ain't to me because I need house paint. So I tried to find the most expensive product of each thing that worked for me. So like a full coverage foundation, things I can actually use. And I'm Imagine my shock. I spend $1,300. Imagine my shock when this arrives at my house. This whole box is the size of like a toaster. I couldn't believe this. I was like, $1,300? This is the makeup? Makeup adds up. Makeup is very expensive. Today, the objective is to try the most expensive products I could find and see how they look with the way I do my makeup. Some of these products might work for you. I use makeup in a very non-God honoring way. So we'll see if it works for me. Now I'm gonna go glue my eyebrows down, but before I do, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm here all the time doing videos, making videos. It's my passion. Making videos is my passion. Today's video is brought to you by Cerebral. Cerebral is a mental health platform that gives you access to prescription management, counseling, and therapy for anxiety, depression, insomnia, and other conditions. There's even treatment available for ADHD and bipolar in some states. Well, it might surprise you, but in the nightlife world, I'm constantly surrounded by people who benefit from a little bit of therapy. Cerebral offers online convenience and privacy. You can do visits with your provider, therapist, or care counselor online. Cerebral also offers a convenient mobile app. I really recommend this because I don't drive and being able to access healthcare and mental wellness without having to take a ride somewhere, it's wonderful. You can message your team at any time. In most cases, you can see a provider fast in as little as 20 minutes. Your care team at Cerebral works together with you to bring you the best treatment plan for you. You know, for me, when I'm under extreme duress, I find that just being able to say what I'm struggling with, just being able to relate to someone and be heard changes everything. If you'd like to take the first step in working on your mental health, click the link in my description to start your questionnaire. You'll get connected with a provider right away. It's affordable with or without insurance. And your first month starts at only $30. Champion your mental health. All right, baby, I got some stuff. Now I bought this a few weeks ago and I do drink, so I don't totally remember what, what I bought, but I laid it all out here. The price of some of this stuff, like I don't want to, I'm not shaming anyone. Holy shit, you guys, the price of some of this stuff just blew my mind. Even when I was a makeup artist, I was not buying makeup this expensive. So, huh, fuck, let's start. Okay, this is the La Mer Pore Perfecting Primer. This was $90, 90 dollars they are perfecti trendy right okay the way it's in different languages hold please what is it say? can i get some information okay it says nothing on the box but what it does great so let's just put it on it's a pump das ist un pump it smells good i mean <laughs> for being honest it smells really beautiful and it feels good <laughs> god this is gonna be the video that sinks me i will never financially recover from this now that i'm gonna find out how nice this makeup is i'm gonna be like no, I want nice makeup. It, it does look smoother. It does look smoother. I wouldn't say it looks a lot smoother than some of my other pore perfecting primers. Water, dimethicone. I mean, all primers are water and, and silicone. Basically, if you don't know, this is actually a little makeup knowledge. Dimethicone is like a silicone kind of product, which means it's like tiny little balls, tiny little spears, which is what gives it that slip. A lot of foundation products are made from like a dimethicone. Sesame seed oil, alfalfa seed powder, Paul's wart, mulberry. Okay. It's a lot of calming, like smoothing agents to the skin. You don't get that 
that with drugstore primers, that's for sure. You don't get like ingredients that are meant to improve your skin over time. This definitely has ingredients that are meant to do that. But it's a primer and so we put foundation on, we're not really gonna be able to see it. So I got some foundations for this video. I didn't want to do La Mer. La Mer was technically the most expensive one I could find, but it, I think the coverage did not appear to be full coverage. So I was like, I'm not gonna knowingly buy something that is not gonna work for the type of makeup that I do. I got two foundations because I couldn't decide. This is the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. Guess how much this is? $89. I didn't know that makeup cost this much. I didn't know. And then I also got, because I wasn't sure what would work for me color-wise, I got the Armani Beauty Power Fabric Long Wear High Cover Foundation. Very beautiful bottle. Very beautiful bottle. And this one, this, I mean, this Tom Ford, I really want to try this because it was so insanely priced. So let's see how the color is. Can we just, that's actually gonna be a really good color for me. So let's go with her. Let's, let's do her. What's the finish on this? Soft matte, which probably means like a natural finish. It's a little gold, which I like. I, I used the color matching tool that they offer on the Sephora app and this actually worked pretty good. Let's, we have to try the Armani on the other side, right? We got to see what the tea is. So let's, I think this is lighter, but it looks fuller coverage. Oh, bitch, it's way too light. Too light to use. Wait, that's a bummer. It's too light. I really wanted to try that. I used the same color matching tool. It's so hard to buy makeup right now because you can't try anything in person. As far as coverage, I think this is supposed to be a fuller coverage. I'm, I'm really not gagging. It seems like it's buildable. Buildable is such a sketchy word though because any foundation is buildable. Buildable just means if you put more on, you look like you have more on. It does look very skin-like. And you know, when I used to work at makeup counters, how do I say this? The more high-end the brand of foundation, the sheerer. So like, let's be honest, who is the target market for some of these more expensive products? Older women. And older women, I think their biggest insecurity is they want to look perfected, but not painted up like a whore. I'm just hypothesizing, but I'm hypothesizing based on years of experience watching people shop for makeup. The coverage is fine. It's not gagging me. It's not giving. I wish I would have just got some, I don't know, maybe something more full coverage, because this is just like, Fine. Or like maybe I should have done this with a dry sponge, but I feel like dry sponges just eat the makeup, you know? And I don't want my $90 foundation to be eaten by the sponge. I mean, I'm not having like a good skin day, so maybe I'm just like insecure, but I don't think this looks that great. But let's just proceed. So we got our $90 primer and our $90 foundation on. We're already coming in at a cool $180. What did I get for concealer? All right, actually, we're gonna do some liner first. I got some Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen uh, Liquid Eyeliner Duo. This was... $59. I believe one side is a fine tip and the other side is more of a, a, a felt tip marker. That's cool. I mean, I like double-sided. I mean, I'm painting like over liquid foundation that's not dry. So this is kind of skipping, but I think most liners do that. We have to shake it more. I mean, it's not really, I'm not terribly impressed by that. Sorry. <laughs> Let's get into the shadows though, because um, I have big hopes for this. This is one of the most expensive palettes I could find. This is the Natasha Denona Neutral. Biba palette. This was $129. Ooh, I mean, these are really pretty though. That's beautiful. That looks pretty. I'm gonna stick to very neutrals. Like I'm just gonna kind of do the normal Trixie eye because I don't wanna try anything different and then be disappointed and then blame it on the product. I think I'm gonna do these cocoa and freckle colors, these two browns. I mean, I'm gonna show you up close. These are quite beautiful, this palette. Very pretty, very, very pretty girl. Okay, bitch, that's, that's pigment. Okay, wow, that grabbed. Woo! Ooh, that's darker than I thought it would be. That's okay. I mean, that is kind of beautiful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's $129 beautiful, but it is beautiful. I'm not saying she's not beautiful, but she wasn't beautiful tonight. Look at that makeup. It's terrible. It's nice and matte, very buildable, very blendy, very, very easy to work with. Okay, this shadow formula is doing something that I love when shadows do this, where wherever you touch your brush, you get the most pigment but it's still, when you blend it out, you're not digging up and moving all that shadow you put down. It just softens it. This is like grabbing. It actually is really fast. This shadow's so like intuitive, the way the formula moves on your skin and the way it lays down, it's like, you put your makeup on faster. This is a shadow formula I could get really spoiled with. That is a beautiful formula. And these are beautiful colors. Uh, love, live, laugh, love. I think this freckle color, I'm actually gonna use for my brows. My new way of doing brows, by the way, has been to draw my first hair and then kind of go out. What a formula, bitch. what a formula. And it kind of is in the price point that I don't think, I would never really buy this for myself, but like, it's a nice gift. Beautiful. So I'm gonna do this to this side and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I did both sides and I did some brows. You guys, I mean, I just gotta say, 
There's matte eyeshadows. Putting eyeshadow on brows, you guys, so usually there's a lot of texture. Laying these down on top of it, the texture was going away because the eyeshadow was so truly matte. It was eating the texture and hiding it. Like up close, you guys, this looks so buttery. It's really gaggy. I mean, $129, yeah, crazy, but wow. Only thing this is missing, if this had a matte black, it'd be over, bitch, but wow, this is beautiful. I might, this might go in my kit, but we gotta move on. Now, I, I was really scared about buying concealer because the concealers were so expensive. I was like, what if I get the wrong colors? Or what if I get one of these bogus ass liquids that like are just no coverage? So what I did get was I got the Makeup Forever HD Invisible Cover Cream Foundation Palette. This is 110 dollars. I have this sister product, which is like half foundation, half cream, like blush colors. This one's just foundation colors. I have sort of one of these, so I kind of know that I like these already. For $110, I mean, new drag queens, people who do special effects, your makeup kit, whatever, makeup artists, you could buy this and just have this and then not have to carry other things. I mean, this it even has a white. I'll say this, it, it could go darker. Let's be honest, this is not quite dark enough. So I'm gonna use some of the concealers in here to start like chiseling around the brows. I know that they have a really nice coverage, so I'm gonna run with that. I'm gonna try some of this white in here too. This has a little white. Pretty good, you know, if we're being complete assholes. Now that this Tom Ford foundation is drying, <laughs> it looks really good. I mean, if you guys could see up here in like my kind of texture zone, it looks pretty good. I'm sure I was being a hater. So I'm gonna have to start kind of, normally I use sticks to do my foundation. So I'm gonna have to kind of paint these shapes on, which is a little weird for me, but let's just do it. Looks pretty good, right? Not as red as my TV paint stick, which I'm kind of used to. It's a little more of a, like an eggshell concealer. Pretty though. I think that I'm gonna have to be more methodical about the placement of some of these darker colors. So I'm gonna jump over to some of these shades and I'm gonna start doing like the forehead. Because this is not a stick, I kind of have to place it the way, like kind of like the Kevin O'Quan making faces thing where you kind of have to do swatches and then blend it all together. Let your haters be your motivators. I don't know why I just said that. Wow. I'm mixing these two, which one is a little lighter than what I want. One's a little darker and I'm kind of just mixing them. Mixy, Mixy Mattel. This is so easy. I mean, this is nice. This is so easy. It feels so expensive. It feels heavy. It feels expensive because it was expensive. I mean, if this was, if you were buying a little pot of concealer in 12 shades, it, it would be a lot more than $120. So in that sense, it's not like a total crazy price. It's Carnauba Wax based in Dimethicone. So it's, as it applies to my face, it's actually blending out even better because it's heating up. Anytime something's kind of wax based, it heats up to your face and tends to move better once it's on your face. That looks pretty good. I keep hearing sounds in my house and I really don't like it. I'm alone. I'm gonna do this jaw too. And then I'm just gonna take this sponge and I'm gonna kind of touch it to this color that was a little lighter. And I'm gonna use that to blend this out because I don't want the jaw too dark. I'm kind of going through a renaissance with how much contour I wear. I know that that's crazy coming from me, but I'm just trying to wear a little less because nowadays I'm on camera way more than I'm on stage. So I'm just trying to like not look completely insane. Otherwise I see myself on uh, like from the side talking to Katya and all the time I'm like, your jaw looks crazy. But I mean, I know I look crazy. You guys are so shady. I know that the editor, I know that you guys are all ganging up at me right now as this video airs being like, bitch, you think you look crazy now? I know I look a little wild. I understand that. So I'm gonna finish up this side to match this side and I'll be right back. All right. So that's all on. Um, it, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It looks really smooth, especially in here. The skin looks good, all right? The skin is looking really smooth. I mean, we'll have to see what it looks like with powder on it, but usually if my skin looks smooth while it's wet, it's probably gonna look really good when it's powdered. So what did I get? I got the Charlotte's Genius, Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder for under eye and face. Soft focusing, light diffusing, loose powder. My hope is that this isn't shiny. I don't want your fucking half. It's a satin finish, it catches the light. No bitch, my skin looks like fucking leather. Okay, I can't have that. I can't have, ugh, oh God, it looks shiny. Oh look odd. Let's just do it, all right? Let's just, how bad could it be? I got this tiny little puff because I have to be a little bit surgical with this. I don't want to mess this up. What does it say it does? A genius light diffusing loose powder that blurs and visibly reduces dark shadows and boosts radiance. Would you like to boost your radiance? No. Yeah, I mean, I would. Doesn't smell like much. Doesn't smell like much of anything, which I guess is good. I mean, I'm wearing a lot of like heavy Makeup Forever cream foundation, so I'm really gonna powder the hell out of this. I'm just gonna start slowly peeling away the extra. This doesn't feel powdered enough. I knew this was gonna happen. A sifter, a sifter. 
Can I remove it? Can I remove the center? Don't fuck with me, Charlotte. Charlotte, don't you fuck with me. Oh! <coughs> there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. How much is this powder? How many dollars of product have I just used? $45! Weenie Hut Juniors. <sighs> There's so much powder in here, you guys. You can't, oh God, it's all over me. Ah, oh, this, oh, oh. This powder, Charlotte, I love you. I'm so sorry. I love so many of your products, but girl. You know what, this is not her fault. This, this is a shopping issue. I bought a powder that is not mattifying and now it looks crazy. Oh my God. You guys, I think I'm gonna have to get another loose powder to supplement this to like fix what I just did. I got the Anastasia banana powder. I, I think because this is kind of gold and has some coverage, this might save me here. This re anybody else, did anybody use this and feel like it really showed, showed texture? I thought my foundation looked so good until I put this on. This is gross. My face looks like a chapped lip. This is like radiant. It's like it's catching light. Oh, it's just like horrible. You know, we just have to continue because this it, it looks like what it looks like and we just have to keep going. I really wanted to like this makeup. I really like that foundation. We gotta breathe and keep going. Um, I picked up some Too Faced powders. These are the Born This Way Oil-Free Multi-Use Complexion Powder. I'm hoping these are very buttery and very full coverage and that they will save the day. These were 39 bucks each, um, which I'm really glad I got them because I think I'm gonna need them. This packaging is really beautiful. Look how pretty it is when you open it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Bitch, you better come through because I'm not currently living. Come on, Born This Way, come on. Very mad. I can't even explain what's going on the side of my nose. That looks so horrible. My strategy right now is gonna be to take this powder and coat my face in it to cover up the texture that Charlotte Tilbury has brought out in my skin. Does Charlotte Tilbury hate me? I improperly used a product. If we're being honest, this, this is nothing to do with Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, that definitely helped. This is a very pretty powder, very mattifying. I actually really like this. I, I had a feeling it was going to be very buttery and full coverage and matte, and that's exactly what it is. 96% said this formula felt comfortable on the skin. Infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid? All right, I put some Maybelline Superstay powder, like pressed powder, around my nose. So just try to like mattify it a little bit. That definitely helped. I wouldn't say this is my favorite makeup I've ever done, but let's just keep going. I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth here in the cheeks. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer here in three. I'm hoping it'll be dark enough and warm enough to really just get right into the pocket of my cheek. I think I'm just adding contour, hoping that it will at some point make me like what's going on in my face. That's not currently what's happening. Very warm though. I mean, I've had this bronzer before. I have it in number two and number one. So I actually like this bronzer. Charlotte Tilbury, we like the bronzer. However, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna talk to you about this powder. I'm gonna talk to you about it. I just wanna talk. We're at the point of doing some liner though. I have one of my favorite white liner products. This is technically a brow pomade. This is from KBD Beauty. This is a wonderful white gel liner. It's probably one of my favorite gel liners on the market as far as like the type of stuff I do, which is like very graphic, big white shapes on my head. I think they're made for your brows, but they're so, they can do a lot of things. I've done Halloween makeup with them. I mean, they're just really cool. They're like body paints or something. Work! It's not quite the whitest thing ever, but it's it's pretty good. It dries very quickly, which is nice because then you can go over it. Do you see how the second coat of this is so much more white? What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? If I get killed on video, can somebody just make sure that this still gets published and then it gets monetized, please? Thank you. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the other side and be right back. All right, so the white's on, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go back to that Natasha Denona palette, which is one of the only things today that really is blowing my mind. And I wanna put something on the lid that's not totally white. I like the white underneath to be white. And then I like the lid to be a little more like an eggshell. So I wanna fuck with this color called Tusk that looks like kind of like a nylon color. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh God, this is pretty. Again, super mattifying, you guys. Like my, it makes my, where I cover my brows look so smooth. Natasha Denona, can you make face powders in the same formula as your eyeshadows, please? Thank you. While I'm here, I lick the brush, whatever. I'm gonna go in and do some more definition on these brows. Liv! Wow, this Natasha Denona palette is really stunning, you guys. Really stunning. Wow. Before we get into the Bobbi Brown gel liner, let's go back to that Tom Ford pen that we tried in the beginning. And let's try to do, it's not, oh, do you guys see this? It's like, that's streaky. Am I, is this supposed to be twisted or something? Um, we'll use it. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite thing. 
It's not my favorite thing. It's not my favorite thing. I wish it was a felt tip. It's a brush. It's a tiny little brush. Let's try the other side. The other side of the pen is a lot finer tip, you guys, like very fine. Let's try to use that for like the ends and see how we feel. Okay, the other side is very sharp and very black. The other side is better. You know this liner's growing on me? What I like about it is that it comes with two different sizes so you can go in and do most of your work with the fat one and then go use the tiny tip to like do the ends because that's the hardest thing about liner is the very inner corner and the very end, right? And I like that this little baby one gives you more precision. That is pretty cool. Let's go in with this Bobbi Brown. I have never tried this. I know this is a lot of people's favorite black eyeliner. This is Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. Never tried it. I used to work right across from a Bobbi Brown counter, but when I worked there, I couldn't afford anything from the Bobbi Brown counter. So, um, it's gray. It's not black. This is gray. Girl, I'm so sick of gel eyeliner being gray. If I ever do a gel up black eyeliner, it will be black. It will be black as night. That's gray. Do you guys see how where the, where the Tom Ford liner drew, it's black. And do you see where I'm filling in? It's gray. I guess let's just keep going though. We gotta try it. I'm having to apply so much product because as soon as I spread it around, it shears out. Not really impressed with that. For the bottom of my eye, let's let's use the Tom Ford pen again. Looks pretty good. This makeup is emotionally taxing. You know what I might do though with this very fine tip of this liner? I'm gonna do the top. I don't normally do this, but I really like the tip of this liner, so let's just do it. Nice. See, I like that a lot better. This little liner is really nice. Really nice. I love when a liner is nice and sharp like this and I can do these fine little detail points that I wouldn't normally do like that thing. So cool. This Bobby Brown liner, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it after the kids go to sleep. Okay, you and I are gonna have a fight. I do have a bunch of pencils here. I got the Givenchy lip pencil. God, let's see how much it is. The Givenchy lip liner was $29. Oh, it comes with a sharpener. That's cool. $29, you guys. Uh, I also got a Gucci lip liner because I wasn't really sure what the color of this was gonna be. This Gucci lip liner was $33. <laughs> and the lipstick I got is, fuck you guys, this is crazy. Okay, this list, Christian Louboutin lipstick, silky satin lip color was $90. I don't wanna sound like a, a person who maybe just like is out of touch, but I just, like I said, I didn't know things could cost this much. This is crazy. It's heavy as but you guys, if I threw this at you, this could hit you in the temple and kill you like Simon Birch's mom. Oh, that's kind of a cool packaging. I'll, I'll give you that. Let's see, this is the color. All right, it's like a medium coverage. I'm just gonna say what it is. This is a rich old lady color. So let's just uh, see which liner we're gonna use with it. I got a couple liners because I don't know what the situation's gonna be. This Givenchy liner is a little red for what I want. And this Gucci liner, the Gucci liner is gonna be a better fit, so I'm gonna use the Gucci liner. I never wear colors like this. I never wear like vampy colors like this, but let's see. I mean, you guys, I just gotta tell you what the tea is. This is whatever, this is a lip liner. I can't believe this is $33. I'm also not crazy about this color. I think it needs to be contoured. Luckily, I bought some of my favorite pencils. The Makeup Forever color pencils are 20, which I think, you know, compared to 33 is, is a lot more reasonable. I got a bunch of them because I'm, I'm always buying these because I'm obsessed with them. So let's take one of these colors and try to sort of contour with it. These pencils are so pretty and I think that they're kind of meant to be used however you want because they're like pink, purple, like all different colors. All right, bitch, let's put on this lipstick. I mean, sure. It smells nice. I wouldn't say that this lip liner and this lipstick necessarily go together. I'm gonna take a little bit of red liner and just kind of try to marry them together. Pretty, okay, it's getting pretty. I would never really pick a color like this personally, but I like it for this, whatever. We're trying new things, we're trying new things. All right, blush. This Tom Ford blush was about $60. This is crazy. <laughs> I got this color that I actually thought was really pretty, Cherry Blaze. Looks kind of orange in a way that I think will be very beautiful on the skin. Pretty. Okay, you know what I like about this? You guys notice in the blushes I sell at Trixie Cosmetics, we always sell blushes as like sets of three because I love kind of having a gradient because I like to build the color differently on different parts of my face. I like more of the darker color on like the back of my head back here and I like more light color in the middle and I like that this has an option for a lighter color. All right, I'm gonna put on some uh, lashes and some drag and be right back and let's just talk through this, this is crazy. Well, here we are, the final look. I look great, but that's 
typical. Let's talk through it. This is one of the more ambitious videos we've done using all new products, but also spending a lot on the products. I mean, when we use Wet n Wild or Elf or Maybelline or these brands that are very affordably priced, I'm not necessarily concerned if things don't work, but at this price point, I had a few products getting me very concerned today. So let's go through what we liked. I'm not gonna lie. This La Mer $90 primer was very beautiful. It made my skin feel good. It smelled good. It was smoothing. It felt nourishing. It felt like it was actually like good for me. $90 though. I mean, that's crazy. The Tom Ford Foundation uh, started out not really sure because the coverage had to be built to what I need, which is basically, you know, full house paint. But when it dried, it did have like almost a velvet look. Like it looked real matte. This isn't drag foundation, but if you're like a normal person who wants normal monofill coverage, this looks really good. However, it was a lot. I think this was like 80 bucks. A little wild. Ooh, the Makeup Forever HD uh, foundation palette. Beautiful. I mean, 120 bucks for 12 shades of foundation. Look how great, look how much dimension I was able to build because I got to use like four or five different uh, cream full coverage concealers in the same little palette. These Too Faced full coverage uh, Born This Way powders are beautiful. Reminds me of Studio Fix powder, which is kind of my, my go-to for powder foundation, but this is definitely more buttery. It's like a creamy powder feeling. Very pretty, very, very pretty. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, beautiful. I mean, I already knew that. I've used this a bunch of times. I use this out of drag, actually. This is a fabulous bronzer, and I love giant bronzers. I mean, I love the giant compact. Natasha Denona. This is lit. Of all the things that were expensive, I mean, this is like $130, I think. This is probably the most worth it. These shades were beautiful. The color selection, the finish, the formula. This was beautiful. I can't wait to use this again. Bobbi Brown Gel uh, Eyeliner. I don't like false advertisement. This says long wear gel eyeliner in black ink. It's not that black. I just think at this price point, it should be black. It should be really black. The blush, the Tom Ford blush, very beautiful. I mean, I actually really like this color. I will probably use this again, if we're being honest. I love orange blush though. I mean, last year at Trixie Cosmetics, our orange blush palette mod about you was like our number one seller. And I'm not surprised because orange blush is so easy to work with and so wearable on everyone. The KVD Beauty Brow Pomade in Whiteout, really fabulous. I've had this probably three or four times. For a white gel liner, this and Inglot are the two best on the market right now. We didn't get to use the Givenchy lip liner, so maybe next time, but the Gucci lip liner, it got me to try a new color. I mean, I would never pick a liner like this, kind of a, a, a wine purpley red, but I actually really like this lip color in me. Whenever I remotely change my lip color for this channel, I always am like, this is beautiful. Don't you think this lip color is really pretty? This Gucci lip liner, by the way, is called Bordeaux. And these Makeup Forever liners, I mean, seriously, like, if you're a makeup person, buy all of these. These pencils are so good. These are my favorite lip pencils on the market, period, point blank, period. This Christian Louboutin lipstick is kind of absurd. I mean, $90. Do I like the color? Yes. Do I think it's a very wearable finish? Yeah, it's kind of like a glossy satin, like medium to full coverage lipstick. I'll probably never wear it in drag. It just doesn't seem like it's gonna have the durability. It's so comfortable on though, you guys, I have to tell you. I think that's it. I hope I didn't forget anything. I think the king winner of the day, this Natasha Denona palette is so beautiful. I've never seen matte shadows this matte probably ever. I think that good makeup comes at a lot of different price points. If it works for you and it's at a price you are comfortable with, that's really all that matters. Many of these items were at a price I was not comfortable with. But for the sake of this video, I'm really happy I got to try these things. It's really cool. But you guys know I love drugstore makeup and I love independent brands. So if I'm gonna splurge, I'm gonna splurge on probably a company that I still feel is small and I wanna support them in that way. Thank you guys for joining. Let me know if any of these actually are great for you or if they're, I wanna know this. In the comments, I stalk the comments. If there's something, if I ever do a part two to this video, if there's something really gaggy that you always splurge on and I need to try it, please let me know. Because if I do another one of these, I might go more from your recommendations because I was really going in blind on this. So I'll see you around the neighborhood, goodbye.